uh, chapter five. We are continuing with chapter five. Uh, we're going to be concentrating on this week on lesson five three, which is solving systems uh, by substitution and then by elimination. We'll we'll talk about it. Those are very important two sections in for this year and the years after. Uh, this is going to be used a lot in math. Okay, so. First of all, 5.3 talks about solving by substitution. What do we what do we mean by substitution? <clears throat> so let's say, for example, I'm going to give you here. Uh, there's an example here. Is one of the questions is saying y equals 14x, and the other one is saying y has the same as another value, but it's, it should be equal to half uh, times 28x plus 15. Now. If I go ahead and take the 14x and I substitute it with the y, I should get an answer that it would, it would work. For example, if I say 14x equals 1 half 28x plus 15, I'm going to end up with, with an answer that is 0, not equal to 7 4. What does this mean? That means there's no solution whatsoever for this equation. Okay, so that means any any number that goes in the, in the place of the x would never give me any any uh, right answer. So the results are not uh, <clears throat> the, so the result is not a true statement. So the system has no solution. And having no solution is also that's the solution for this problem. Now, what about if I do this one here, for example? Okay, so this is also a substitution by and and I'm going to be getting infinite many solutions in this way. What does it mean if I replace uh, here in this case uh, they replaced uh, the value for x and they put it in, in terms of y so now y ended up to be 254.73 and 254.73 that means any value that I plug in for y I would get the same answer no matter what if I chose y to be a 100 I'll still get the same answer if I show the y to be 1 or 2, 3 or 5, it's, I'm going to get the same answer. So that's what we mean by substitution and getting a result as infinite many solutions. Okay, so we call it infinite many solutions or many solutions. Now, the next section is going to be talking about the same thing. We're going to be solving system, but by elimination. We're going to get, we need to get rid of one of the x's or the y's. So, for example, here, let's take a look at this section. This one, this equation, 2x plus y equals 8, 4x minus y equals 4. Now, think about adding those two equations. So if you add them up, you're going to end up with 6x plus 0, because y minus y is 0. And that's why we call it elimination, because we eliminated one of the variables. And 8 plus 4 is 12, and then you solve for x, so x ends up to be 2. So if you plug back 2 here, you're going to end up with 4 plus y equals 8. That means y is actually 4. Okay. So that's how the elimination. Some students, they prefer one idea over the other one. Uh, we ask you to, do, to, to practice both. And that's what we're going to be doing in class. We're going to be practicing both. And we're going to get the same idea, subtracting and getting many solutions, no solutions. It will be the same, exactly the same result. So no matter what you use, elimination or substitution, you have to have the same answer. Should be the same answer for both ideas. All right, guys. So that will be our week, and that will be the end of uh, term one. Uh, this here is where we're going to end with term one, and then we'll start term two with other chapters. Okay, guys, yep. good luck, and see you in school. Bye-bye.